a Taos High School student is dead. Three others critically injured, and yet another three hurt after a single vehicle crash this weekend. The seven were leaving a house party after homecoming. The person who threw it now charged. This is the latest tragedy to hit that small community of Taos. News 13's Jessica Baron was in Taos today with more. Seven kids from the high school that were celebrating homecoming and now the whole community is grieving. It was early Sunday morning when authorities got a call from a worried parent. She said her son was at a party and called her intoxicated. Police drove to Los Cordovas Road south of Taos where they found a silver SUV on its roof. Deputies say seven students were in the Jeep. One female passenger was pronounced dead at the scene. The driver and two other occupants were flown to UNM Hospital with critical injuries. The three others were also treated for their injuries at Holy Cross Hospital. All seven students attended Taos High School and they were celebrating after homecoming. So many bad things have happened to this community. The fires, the everything. This whole last year has been really difficult for everyone here. In September, a Taos Middle School cross-country runner was stabbed by a campus intruder. The eighth grader was running laps at Taos High School where he runs on the JV team. Then earlier this month, three Taos teens were arrested for the murder and shooting of a Taos woman and her son. The sheriff's office says it appears seatbelts were not worn, excessive speeding and alcohol are also believed to have played a factor. Deputies say 18-year-old Haley Martinez of Taos hosted the underage drinking party and has been charged with eight counts of contributing to the delinquency of a minor. A resident who lives close to where the accident happened says her heart goes out to the families. How do you get over this? You, you don't. You know, it never... You learn how to live, but you never get over it. So I feel for the parents. Jessica Barron, KRQE News 13. The Taos County Sheriff's Office says it is working closely with the District Attorney's Office to complete the investigation. They say there could be more charges in this case.